Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Also check out Discord and all my support page stuff, all that stuff. Everything's appreciated. So there you go. In this video, we're going to be working with gaining points from the swag balls. Uh, also printing out, trying to print out points. So to start off we need to go into our game.h and we need to look what we have. So I think the score itself and points is going to be in the player. The game is actually where it should be. Points should be in the game since it's a little easier to gain. So I'm just going to put that into game. Uh, we're going to have end game player. Okay, points. And then we need to... No, we need to do int points and let's go here let's go to player first and clean that up let's control x that out of there and put it into game.h so initialize variables this points equals zero okay good another important thing is to display the points right so to display the points we need something called a text in a font variable to create that, you do sf font, font, very simple, and then sf text, text. Okay? I'll call it, I'll call it GUI text, whatever. Just GUI text, whatever you want to call it, you can call it. Once you've done that, um, they should turn green, everything's fine. We need to load in a font into font. So let me just show you how to do that. I'm going to open up one of my other projects here. I'll just go in here, I'll go into whatever. Uh, I do have, uh, we did use fonts in the last one, the last video. So I'm just going to copy the whole fonts folder in and I'll show you how that looks. You go ahead into here and wherever you're active. We do actually have fonts here already. What am I doing? Anyway, uh, we do have two fonts. So I'm going to use pixel letters full, I guess. You can open these and see what's going on. Before you use them, make sure you install them. All right. So if you uh, if you don't have them, you need to install them. All right. Once that's done, remember you have your variable here. I'm gonna create a little function, a private function, in game.h here. Void init font. Okay. And then void init text. If we want to do that, well, you know what? We'll just leave it at that. Um, and we need to, of course, define that. I'm dumb. Going too fast here for my own good. Uh, you have your function here. All you want to do is this font dot load from file. And then you give it the name of it. TTF. And then remember where you had it. So I think it was in fonts something something. So just make sure you have it. If you're unsure, you can check out this path here. You can right click properties and you'll see the path to it as well so it's in fonts whatever it should be there uh, so just go ahead and do fonts pixel letters full once that's done it should be loaded and you can check it out actually it's a boolean so if let's make an if statement around it and let's say if this did not happen so put an exclamation mark here if this was not successful std c out um, error game init font should be called init fonts actually init fonts there we go init fonts um, could not load and then what we could do here is give the name like that if you want and you should be good and a new line right there. So I'm going to do a little exclamation mark here. Just so I see that that's an error. Good. Very nice. That should be loaded though. And then we need to. Actually we do need to have that initialized text. Void init text. We do need that. Because we need to set the text before we start writing to it. We need to set the variables of it. So to explain this as well as I can. We're loading the font from the computer. We need to make sure the text has a font before we can write to it. The text also needs to have some text set 
to actually be able to be dis displayed and it will be displayed like a rectangle shape or something where you can you can actually see its pixel pixelator right it's it's going to be a object on screen being drawn out so let's do this gy text that's the first thing we want to do set font this font and obviously you want to do this in order so you want to initialize fonts first so let's go ahead into our game constructor and let's init the fonts right here and then we're just going to go ahead and init gy or init text all our text elements are going to be initialized in here gy text init like that once you set the font you can basically just set this gy text dot set fill color if you want sf color white I'm just gonna set it to Y. This I think it's default anyway. Text dot set character size is also important. Takes an unsigned end. Set it to 24. This GUI text dot set string. No. Set string. Test. Just to see that we're getting it printed out and everything's fine. Let's go ahead and render that out right here somewhere. Uh, we're rendering the player, we're rendering the swag balls. You want to pretty much render GUI at the end. This render GUI. And we're going to create a function called render GUI because we're going to be adding some more stuff to it. And that's going to help us out later on along the line. Boom. We good. We Gucci. Let's go down here. We good, bro. Oh my god. Here we go. And then we also need a this. Oh, we'll say SF render render target pointer target. Target draw this uh GUI text. Okay. And this is a pointer to whatever we want to use. So it's good to have in case you want to render other things other than, we do have that in player as well, other than uh, to the window directly. So if we have another rendering, uh, like a blank canvas basically, which we want to then entirely render on the window, we'll, we'll go through this later. Anyway, if you want to do that, you can do it. If you don't have this, it's a little harder. That's why I always make a habit of not directly rendering to the window always. But having a choice. So here I can send in this window. Okay, I want to render the GUI stuff onto the window. Maybe I want to render the swag balls onto some other stuff. Some other rendering target. Uh, but like I said, we'll go through that. So don't freak out. Just know that there are different rendering targets. It's not only the window always. Once that's done, your text should be displayed here. Am I even recording right now, bro? Am I? Okay. All right, we've got a few minutes to go. Let's do this. Let's see what happens. So, test. It did pop out here. Uh, and it is working very nicely. I need to increase the size of that. But that's up to you, whatever your taste is. I'm going to put it 32. And uh, that should be good to go. Now, I'm going to create a function called update text. Update text. And this is going to take variables that are important. And it's going to, or update GUI actually. Since we have a render GUI, it's nice to have an update GUI. I'm going to create a uh, definition of that. Right here it should be. Update GUI. And here we're going to set the text to whatever we want. Okay. This uh, GUI text.set string to ss.str. So. What is ss.str? Well, it is our string stream. S stream. Well, we didn't include it, so that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and include that. Include string s stream, I think it is. And this is a C library, which is really nice. Uh, if you haven't used that a lot, I am suggesting you to do that. It's std as well. Uh, basically, it's a stream where you can just shove in all kinds of types of data and it will turn that into a string and you can print it out easily. So you don't have to cast stuff and parse it to uh, integers. So it kind of does that on its own. So it's really, really good. Uh, just, you know, converting stuff by itself. 
So once you create that, you want to say ss dot dot. Um, no, not ss dot. You want to put something into it. This points. Okay. So that is something we want to put into it, and then it's going to print that out for us. So let's try this out. I'm not calling it, so I'm dumb. Uh, we need to actually call it here. Close that down. Uh, this up player update update collision. This up. Update GUI and now hopefully we should have a zero on the top here no it's not doing anything right now okay so I had turned it around it should be it was like this it should be like this so once that's done you should be able to combine that with points maybe you want a little flair to it add something like that run your game and you should see your points variable set up here to zero looking real nice also add a space right there if you want and you're good to go now you can remove this test set string at the top and you're ready for action anytime we create a killer ball we want it to add uh, points and that I'm just gonna add that before ending the video here points plus plus and if we run this we'll see that update in real time Boom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we'll add more points depending on size of the ball if you want. You can do anything you want here. But as long as you update them when you're erasing the balls. There you go, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me for all the support. Check out the description box. Join Discord if you want. New content will be coming up. And yeah, keep learning. Keep working hard. I'm really proud of all you guys. And thank you again for sticking with me. See you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.